Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I am found. Was blind, but now I see. The price of being able to see, folks, is that we have to be aware, we have to be conscious, we have to be ready, and we have to be prepared. And that's what the Bible calls us to do, is to be prepared for things to come. And so we know what's been going on around us. We have been taken slave to some of the things happening in our lives. But let's be honest, the Lord is upon his throne. So if he has allowed us to be overrun, he has allowed this nation to be taken from us. It is because we have turned our hearts away from him. And it is a call to return to our first love to that love of Almighty God, that moment of salvation that we realized we were redeemed to him and the war was over. And we could walk into that throne room of grace and, and be accepted and be loved and, and find a, a purpose and find a reason and find hope. And so I want to read something to you today. I'm so graced to, to have the joy of the Lord within me that allows me to write some things that, that get, get it all down on paper and... Uh, uh, to that end, I would love to read something to you that I've just written with regarding to um, that finite moment in your life when you make a decision as to the changes that need be made. And uh, we, I believe, we as um, Americans have made that decision that, that we're done, that we're done with certain things that have been going on and, and uh, they, they have to end. They have to be changed. Uh, they have to be remanded and, and someone's got to be held accountable. And so with that, I've written this piece called Done. No mind-bending mystery to describe the circumstance upon which we stand. We thought we were buying this, and they switched it for that, the old bait-and-switch, nothing outside, and ordinary swindler's wares. The difference being, this one was done from the inside the farm, by brothers at arms, swearing allegiance to the same. As we sailed forth in cooperative agreement, they had torn a corner in the pocket, a hole in the sock, a false floor in the bottom of the vault. We were innocent, perhaps naive, and maybe even foolish in our estimation of their character. So believing them noble, we went on and on and on. That is the truth in our dilemma, is the length of our slumber, because the sirens were certainly sounding nearly a century ago a time when we would have had a much easier day of extracting them from the timbers of our foundations. Now it's akin to molar removal. Now they believe themselves righteous, having had many years practice looking into their own reflection, convincing themselves in self-justification. And the damage has been compounded by the effective indoctrination of our youth, having been subjected to mental pounding of liberal arts, and mechanisms of social democratic ploys. But we will survive. Even this moment of embarrassing realization that somehow we had either fallen asleep at the wheel, abdicated its control, or simply believed the line of filth that they offered up as patents of nobility. Character is not a thing earned through birth. It is something demonstrated through the action or a staunch determination in de denying applied consent. We now have clearly established that we grant no further authority for the political objectives on which you've embarked. You have dragged the nation far enough away from the center that the impending centripetal reckoning threatens to reset the pendulum. We will not be thrown clear, instead pulling your grasping fingers away from the housing, sending you flying from the general cir circular orbit of this United States. Yes, we love, and in so doing, must admit our failures before our righteous neighbors and our God, and never fearful or shameful of our recrimination, for our works were perpetrated in truth. We shall right the ship with you or without you, and to be done with you will require an enormous sacrifice on accountability before you may once again be trusted. Trusted enough even to participate in the formulation of our nation's bright future. For now, you will have to repent and watch the proceedings from incarceration. 
or the sidelines, depending on your misgivings. Make no mistake, God does not condone your behavior. Yes, we may be complicit in that he is, we have turned our faces from his glory. He then allowed you to encroach upon this good nation as punishment for our diminished thankfulness and vigilance. But this ship will be righted in our staunch dedication to him as our provider and guide. Yes, the craftiness of your manipulative works were clever in proceedings, but not to be admired as the works of wicked men. We stand ready to guard against further encroachment on our liberties. You shall not find purchase so plenty in your future attempts. We may not be bought or sold for this thing, this grand nation of people determined to live and express their faith, health, wealth, and opinion and freedom is not a commodity, but a treasure. You have lost your way. We will help you find a new path. That path will place you in direct convergence with Lady Justice and the resultant determinations of Almighty God. We continue to love you and pray for you, but we have no envy of your position nor admiration of your works. You have wasted your fearful and wonderful making, expending it instead for the benefit of sin. The history book shall record these things you have done, but never favorably, for you have determined to destroy that which is righteous and good instead of building alongside your brothers and sisters of national affinity. Take a look at your surroundings, for it may be your last hurrah, for tomorrow most certainly your defeat will be freshly delivered, and if we have anything to do about it, it may yet be this night. May the Lord's ears be open to your cries for mercy and redemption. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Folks, I love you and I thank you as often I, I do. I really want to um, remind you what a blessing you are in my life. You are the only thing that I get to take with me past this, this plane of existence. And um, I'm mindful of that, ever mindful of that. And, and the joy of having been grown up an American and have the, the ability to have um, inalienable rights that may not be taken except um, acquiesced by myself or taken by the Lord for punishment is a responsibility that I do not um, look at lightly. Nor do I look lightly upon those wicked, those wicked few will, who will mount their... their um, escarpments against the United States as it stands. For um, they may not be my enemies, but they certainly are not friends. May the Lord confuse them, confound them, and have them fight amongst themselves and blind them in their moment of wickedness that they might not see their objectives and that we may remain hidden in the, uh, the comfort and shadow of his almighty wings. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen.